Tropical Storm Chantal raced through the Windward Islands will be approaching the island of Hispaniola on Wednesday, and it has strengthened slightly over the past 24 hours. I'm meteorologist Jeff Offen tracking Chantal's every move, and today it was moving at close to 30 miles per hour through the Windward Islands just north of Barbados, and now it has its eyes on Hispaniola and the Dominican Republic. Likely landfall there midday on Wednesday. Winds could be close to hurricane strength when it comes ashore just south and east of Haiti. The storm will maintain its forward progress into the Bahamas and then slow down considerably, according to the National Hurricane Center, by Sunday morning. It also will likely weaken quite a bit as well because of several complicating factors to, to the uh, forecast. We've got the island of Hispaniola, a very mountainous island, could rip the storm apart. If it would survive that, it would encounter some wind shear as well that I'm going to show you in just a minute. Here are the potential storm tracks, the different models that we look at, and most of them are in agreement on that similar path. The Hurricane Center official forecast path is slightly to the east of the consensus. And as we move you know, over the weekend, there's a lot of diverging lines there, meaning there's less confidence in the exact track Chantal will take as the system approaches the southeastern United States. Fairly confident that there will be some impact here in the U.S. Here's the future track uh, GFS model. I have colored in or shaded in, drawn in rather, with those blue lines, the areas of wind shear. And there will be some high wind shear developing on the northeast side of the system Friday into Saturday. Some moderate wind shear with an approaching upper level trough and a surface front Saturday into Sunday. So a lot of things, to, a lot of hurdles for Chantal to uh, jump here on its track into the Bahamas and possibly uh, the United States. Two potential solutions we're looking at. All right, there's the possibility that the system will make a left turn into the Florida's first coast Sunday night into Monday. The more likely track is further north up into Georgia or South Carolina. But notice even this more likely tra track, it takes a, a, a leftward jog here and almost does a 180 back into Georgia and maybe northern Florida because of an approaching upper level trough pushing it back to the south and to the west. So if it takes the blue track, the possible track, landfall would be near the first coast. There would be more of a significant uh, surge and higher seas, heavier rain. And if it takes that path, we could be looking at a strengthening storm at landfall. The more likely scenario is up in Georgia. There will still likely be some heavy rain in parts of northern and eastern Florida, especially when it loops around and comes back in from the north. But if it does take a track up into Georgia, little or no coastal impact can be expected on Florida. Florida's east side. Of course, I'll keep an eye on things and you stay up to date with the very latest on Florida Public Radio.